A lot of people are hung up on having the best and most expensive gear to stream with. Not on actually having what they need. Today we're going to be looking at that. Now I've been streaming consistently for the past two months or so. Monday, Wednesday, Friday evening on twitch.tv slash vaz300 if you want to see. Now it is a short time and I am still learning myself but I have learned a few tips or tricks that I think might be of some help to some new streamers who are looking to start streaming and build a setup for streaming. Basically I'm going to save you time and money with these tips. The first thing you're going to need is a PC. Well obviously you don't need the greatest graphics card to stream like good quality content like you do not need a 3090 a ryzen 9 or 9 you know it's what you should do is actually invest that money elsewhere and up the quality of other areas of your stream instead of dumping it all into the pc my recommendation would be a ryzen 5 because you've got six cores uh, it's perfect you can use the two cores for two cores for streaming and the rest for gameplay you know a 2060 would be my recommendation for gaming and lastly, you need 16 gigs of RAM, which is imperative if you want to stream because 8 gigs is obviously going to be for the streaming software of your choice and the other 8 gigs will be for your game. Now, on to number 2, which is microphones. Microphones is a pretty easy one, to begin with especially. You can actually use the mic on your headset and depending on the quality of your headset, you could have a decent quality microphone. Right, microphones are easy. You can literally use the mic on your headset, it'll work perfectly fine. If not, you can get a cheap microphone kit that comes with a boom arm on Amazon. Like I know I bought the quadcast as you can see here, but you do not need to spend 150 to 200 on a microphone. It's Especially if you're only starting out, you literally just want to get a mic, a dedicated USB mic maybe. You can test it out first before, because like you don't want to drop a lot of money on streaming equipment and then, oh, I don't want to stream anymore and then... What are you going to do with that? Sell it for less than what you paid for and you, you lose a lot of money. One tip I would say is just take your time, upgrade as you go and learn as you go. It helps you learn in the pro like in the long run. So. so on to number three is cameras. Cameras, it's another easy one really because say you're streaming off a laptop, you have the integrated webcam, which obviously is not great. But if you're looking at a, a minuscule level, which you do see when you're streaming because you're going to be a little box in the corner. Resolution does not matter at that point. Of course, my recommendation is actually what I use, which is actually my phone. I use a software called DroidCam, which is developed by Dev47 Apps. Basically what it does is, it's an application that converts your smartphone into a webcam. I smashed my Galaxy S10. It was The cost was too much to repair the back screen and the front screen. So basically I bought a new Galaxy S10, I use that for chat right now until I get a second monitor and I use my old one as actually my dedicated webcam. It's literally mounted on a tripod, plugged in with a USB-C constantly 24-7, I do not touch it. It's perfect, you can see the quality now, it looks fantastic. Roycam is especially useful right now in today's market with webcams being in such short demand with obviously quarantine, people are home, they need webcams for zoom means and stuff like that so dry cam definitely i'd look try getting an old smartphone see if you can just source one anywhere you can probably get one off a second hand site cheap enough maybe even 50 quid another tip is the game that you play what's important about this is i've seen a lot of people say you should go for games with low viewer accounts so you get the top of the list in twitch and you'll get more viewers it's not the worst idea but it's not good if you don't actually enjoy the game it's more important that you actually enjoy the game because you're actually creating better content for viewers who are going to watch your stream right now i'm very much a new streamer i'm still learning as i go i definitely wouldn't do that unless i actually liked the game because a lot of the time i play fps games i haven't actually ne ever tried to utilize this sort of low viewer account games and yes it can be tougher with obviously a low viewer accounts and stuff like that but the most important thing is that you the streamer actually enjoy the game you're playing don't focus on the viewer account which leads perfectly into my next point 
about determination and motivation. One thing a lot of early streamers find when they're streaming is that most of the time they have no viewers or one viewer. It can be very easy to fall into that trap of demotivation and slowly falling into a spiral of missing days and then eventually you're going to miss your whole stream and next thing you know you've before you've even really got started like it's not as easy as just starting up your stream getting hundreds of viewers just like that it, it is a bit of a grind and it does take a fair bit of work and dedication to stick with your schedule in your stream of course it's it's a-okay to have an off day we all have off days that's completely normal but don't let that off day affect the rest of your time as a twitch streamer i hope you found some of the tips i gave helpful if you did let me know in the comments below you could even let me know on my stream every monday wednesday friday evening twitch.tv slash vaz 300 and enjoy setting up your stream